Good morning, Matthew here in sweet Jamaica. And I just want to go over some of my gear today. Some of it's new, some of it is old classics, but I get a lot of questions about what I used to create this show, what I travel with, and this is the new update. Every time I come to Jamaica, I try to bring something new, a new tool, a new lens, a, a new camera, just something to spice it up so I'm not doing the same thing again and again. Try to give it a different look and learn some new stuff too. So I'm gonna put all the links down below. I have an Amazon associate account. So what that means is I'll provide all the links to every product that I'm using. It is the cheapest product that I found or the cheapest price that I found for each item. If you buy through the Amazon link, it means I get a very small commission. So it doesn't cost you any more. If you happen to buy the gear on Amazon, please do use that link. I appreciate it. And thank you very much for watching this video. So let's get to the gear. Um, I guess I'm holding my GH5 camera right now within uh, what's the lens again? 8 by 18 wide lens, so it zooms in pretty good. It's pretty wide. You can fit a lot of stuff in the shot. So that's my main camera and the main lens, I guess, I would use overall. It's a great vlogging thing, but we'll have a look at that after. First things first, I am staying at my bro Pita's place. Uh, this is my bedroom. <laughs> it's been such a great time hanging here I've been sleeping outside under the stars and uh, oh there's a pelican down there I get to watch pelicans fly around and catch fish in the evenings there's all kinds of little um, fireflies flying all around and then the Milky Way appears right up here so it's just an incredible place to stay and uh, yeah big up to PETA for for letting me crash and this place is kind of a work in progress, so I'm not going to tour, do a tour of Peter's place yet. But one day, once he builds it up again, uh, it's going to be such a such a great spot. I mean, it's already a great spot, but it's a work in progress. So, yeah, this is my bedroom slash studio. This is Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Charlie just disappeared for like five days and then reappeared. Charlie's an awesome cat. This is uh, this is Bella, probably the sweetest dog ever. Hey, Belle. She like sleeps under the bed as I'm out here sleeping. Follows me every time I go for a surf down to the beach. And uh, Nori. What's up, Nori? You good? Nori's great too. Love these doggos. But yeah, let's get to it. Um, don't mind the soursop. I'm just going to juice that later. I just had it out for now. Um, first things first, I guess we'll do this. So. This is the GoPro Max 360. So it is a 360 camera. It's such a great tool. I've been using it on a lot of hikes and missioning around because I basically just hold out the camera like this and it's capturing, well, obviously 360 degrees around. And it's a very easy way to just film everything and kind of choose your shots later. So if you're a one-man crew like I often am, it's just fantastic. You can hike down waterfalls with it. You can strap it onto your head or your chest or whatever. I usually just hold it in that mount and it's just capturing everything. So I've been loving it for filming skateboarding and that kind of thing lately. I really want to try some surfing with it, but for hiking videos around here or people's yard tours, it's just been incredible. So. I'll link uh, yeah, some of those vids that I've used it for. It's, it's just such a crazy look. You can do all kinds of cool stuff with it. Uh, what else are you? Oh, dog sledding on my other channel. I did a badass dog sled video. Anyway, that's the Max 360. So, it does come with uh, these bubble things over to protect the lens. Now, I recommend you do protect the lens because you can scratch the lens pretty easily if it falls down. And you cannot replace the lens, unfortunately. Now, the good thing with GoPro... So with GoPro, if you pay for the membership, which is I think six bucks a month, it gives you access to the quick software, which is amazing. You can do all your keyframing and editing of 360 footage in there, all the, all the video effects, slow motion ramping. I, I can't believe it. I, I pay 80 bucks a month for 
Premiere, and this thing does it all on my phone. So I'm so impressed with the GoPro Quick app. But a bonus is if you're a subscriber to this, you get cloud storage, and if you destroy your camera, wreck it in any way, they will replace it. And I think it costs about $99. So I've already done it once, I scratched the lens, uh, the thing hit the ground and uh, you know I paid to replace it and it only cost a hundred bucks instead of 700 so fantastic thank you GoPro I wish it covered lost GoPros unfortunately not because I've lost a lot of them but it definitely covers the replacement insurance and that's just amazing and I think you can do it up to twice a year which is crazy so yeah that's the uh, the GoPro and one important thing I would say is to have a pole now this is a carbon fiber made by Telson. I just got it on Amazon too. These legs fold in and out so you can prop it up. If I just set that on the ground, I can now film everything around me. I can walk around the camera and get every single thing. And if you're using a tripod, and this is carbon fiber, it, uh, it does extend. So if I hold it between my legs here. Boop, 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 boop. Well, that excites you, Bella. Huh. I can roll around like this, and it's so light. And if you're ever wondering those shots where the camera appears to be invisible, it is completely because the, you can see the, uh, the tripod is directly below the camera. So it basically gets stitched out. So it's such a cool piece of gear, and I've been using it a ton. Uh, next thing is probably my main go-to tripod. I used to use the Gorilla Grip ones, but I've actually been enjoying this much more, so it's a Manfrotto. It's a very reasonable price as well, and just really simple. It folds out, it's not that tall. Um, you can extend the legs a little bit if you need to. If you want it to go completely flat, if you have, say, a heavier lens or something, you can kick out the legs so they're all the way down. And I am so impressed. It's actually been working as a tripod for this super heavy telephoto lens, which is the main new piece of gear that I'm using on this trip. So it holds the camera and this. Now, if it's windy, you might get a little shake, but the fact that I can roll around with a tiny, tiny tripod and hold this beast of a lens and still get a stable shot, it's so good. So this is the Leica DG Vario Elmar 100 by 400. It's a telephoto lens, so I can get super, super crazy boop, 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 telephoto shots. And I've been using a lot on this trip. I've been able to get all kinds of different angles that I could never get before. I had a telephoto lens, but it wasn't that good, so I finally sprung for the good glass and uh, I'm very, very happy I did. So it does have the stabilization. It's native to my camera. Autofocus, manual focus, all that kind of stuff. Lens hood. It's just been a complete dream to work with. You get such good depth of field, obviously, because it's so long and, you know, shooting nature. I was shooting shots of pelicans the other day, uh, shooting stuff way down the river. I got these crazy shots of Jenga jumping around in a river and I uh, was able to get very close because the lens can punch in so close. So anyway, it's fantastic. I think I paid, well, around 1700 Canadian. I'll put the link down there for you, but I highly, highly recommend buying good glass. I had a cheaper lens I bought used and it was maybe 600, 700 bucks and it just does not nearly look as good or as quality. So if you're gonna spend money, buy a good lens. Almost a good lens over a good camera, for real. So that's my advice, that's my, uh, my beautiful, beautiful long lens that I'm so, so happy to have. Some other things I travel with too. This is my portrait lens. So between the 18 or eight by 18 and the long lens, I'm using this 42.5. So that's like a portrait lens. You get really good depth of field as well. There's no zoom on this, but it does have the stability again so I can go handheld. I like to do a lot of run and gun so I need to have some really good shake avoidance and I don't want to walk around wearing a gimbal. So even though that lens is a prime lens I use it all the time. I'll usually shoot what I'm doing on the 8x18 
get all my regular content and then after I'm done that I'll get a bunch of cutaways with the 42 or the long lens of the telephoto so that 42 probably my favorite shots I get are with that 42 now it's not convenient because you can't get that close to people um, if you want to get good audio so definitely it's you know pick and choose your shots with it but it is just an absolute gorgeous lens and amazing glass so that covers the glass section pretty much other tool I use a lot you know everyone asks me not everyone but people ask me I should say what camera should I get I want to get into vlogging well honestly don't even get a camera just get an iPhone just get an iPhone iPhones are the awesome this is an iPhone 10 I think and you know get a good case so you don't smash it that sticker job is by my niece I definitely get some looks about my sticker job but uh, yeah iPhone or Samsung whatever you don't have to get too complicated if you're beginning just get a decent phone the microphones are pretty good get a little tripod or something or something to a selfie stick whatever just start with your phone start small you don't have to invest tons of money in gear you don't have to drop thousands just get a decent phone and start making stuff. I can't push that enough. The phones are crazy. So there's certain whole videos if I'm out traveling or out for the day and I don't want to pull out the big camera, I'll just use the GoPro 360 and the phone and I, I think this stuff looks great. So I never hear anyone complaining about quality, whether I'm using my awesome camera or whether I'm using iPhone and a GoPro 360. So it's not even really so much about the camera at all it's about the content right so as long as you have something interesting to show the gear doesn't even really matter that much so I guess that's kind of funny to say as I'm mentioning a gear video and what you should be using not that you should be using it it's just what I use anyway keep on going here next up is uh, you know it's hot in Jamaica it's super hot so I brought my cooling fan and it's really helped out a lot. I sit my laptop on there and I have the fans running while I'm backing up my stuff and dumping footage because sometimes these 128 gig cards can take a long time to download to your computer. And if your computer's hot, it can take twice as long. So, you know, it's a little bulky, but when I throw it in my other gear bag, it works fine. So it just connects by USB and the fan turns on. It's actually nice to have on your lap if you're just trying to get through some work, not fry yourself. So if you're in a hot country, definitely get that. The other thing I need and I love to have is a big power bank. So Out XE actually sent this to me a while ago. They did one sponsored post. I wish they'd do more because I really like the product. But uh, yes, a very good power bank. This thing is pretty beast. It's got two USB and it can charge through... A lightning bolt or the other one I can't remember the name of it whatever it does solar too although it charges very slow but it's just powers up a lot of gear and multiple times it's not one of those little small ones so it's a bit heavy but I'm I'm happy to have it <laughs> look at these guys cat and dog in harmony isn't that nice <laughs> anyway back to what we were doing here uh, the other thing this is the loom cube so I generally travel with a couple big LED lights, but this one has been a game changer lately for when I just need something small and quick and just need some light on the subject. So it uh, has some, some dimmers on it with different colors. It's got a magnet on the back, so it actually sticks. See that? You can stick it onto something metal if you need a light. It uh, can screw in as well. If I unscrew that, it fits your standard kind of tripod screw head. And it just charges with, um, again, the uh, USB thing or whatever that connection is called. I'm having a brain glitch right now. I might need another coffee, but yeah, that's it. And it's so tiny and so light. So it is perfect for traveling. I highly, highly recommend the Loom Cube. There's so much to making good video that involves basically just having nice lighting. It's like... 90% of it 10% how you frame it up and 90% what kind of light you're working with when it comes to beautiful shots That's my advice uh, Next up I got a smart smart tree smart tree smart tree Selfie stick it's kind of beat up, but the price was right. I've had it for a few years. It's still kicking 
Um, this thing does screw off so you can add a GoPro type mount. It's like your standard tripod mount again. So I could even stick the light on the end if I wanted to. It's extendable. They probably have a carbon fiber one now, which is a little lighter, but it, it extends a lot. And it's uh, another very useful piece of gear too. Uh, Rain-X, if you're filming with a GoPro in water, I don't know if I mentioned this one before, but it keeps the water off your lens. If you have water on your lens, it makes your shot look crappy and it's such a waste. So just put this on your GoPro and you can get awesome GoPro shots. This, again, I'll link some of these. I, the, I don't think brand really matters at all. I might have got these from Costco but, or Amazon. But so useful while traveling, especially when I have tons of gear to charge up. You know, a lot of places I stay have very basic amenities, especially when I'm coming to Jamaica. So the fact as long as I have one outlet and I can add all my stuff, all my USB devices and charge them up is very, very handy. So I pretty much always travel with one of these when I'm doing camera work and any type of video production. It just saves the day. I even leave them at Moco's now because guests love them and I have one in every cabin. And I have an extra one if I need and can just charge all my gear. So love that. And maybe the last thing here, and this is a uh, sort of a love, maybe don't need, but I don't know. I, I guess I do need it because I use this thing all the time. And I've always bought kind of cheap headphones and I decided, you know what? I'm going to get these Bose. Bose? Bose? I would say Bose. I think they're Quiet Comfort. I don't even remember the name actually. But the noise cancelling on these is so crazy, I can't believe it. A lot of time on airplanes I end up right by the wing and the engine and it's so loud. You put these on, it's like gone. It makes it so easy to sleep on a plane. I always have a hard time sleeping and when I have these on I'm just I'm so comfortable. The material is so soft and nice. And if you're in Jamaica and you're not used to it, there can be a lot of barking dogs, a lot of insects or trucks beeping, honking at night. You know, there's a lot of things that can wake you up. I will honestly sometimes go to sleep with these just so I sleep like a baby and it works amazing. So they're not cheap. I think they're maybe 350 bucks. I'll have to put the link below. Oh, look, two pelicans. Boom. I got distracted by pelicans as usual, but um, the these Bose Quiet Comfort headphones or whatever they're called, they're pretty expensive. But here's a note: they seem to go on sale every Black Friday or uh, Cyber Monday, maybe even during that whole month, and you can save like a hundred bucks. So wait until Black Friday, then get these, and I guarantee you, you will never need a pair of headphones again. I usually destroy headphones after about a year. Um, you know, when they're cheaper. I've had these for well over a year and they're in complete perfect condition. I've dropped them a whole bunch of times, uh, you know, kicked them across the room by mistake. I sleep on them, so sometimes I'm like crushing them. They have been the absolute best. And, you know, certain things you just gotta pay the money for and it's worth it and you'll have it for life. So, anyway, that is that. Is there any more gear that I missed? I think that's it. Oh, other than this bag, I, th I think I have mentioned the bag before. It's a low pro. Um, does it have the name on the back? I can't remember the model. Oh no, there it is. The fast pack or any kind of fast pack. This has been the greatest bag for me. It fits my camera perfectly. It's got a bunch of different pockets. It fits two lenses in there. I put my microphone and batteries here. I put the camera there. This long lens, even though it looks huge, actually fits right in the top. So I'll either pack that or I can even fit my drone in the top. So the drone will fit in there as well. My Mavic Pro 2 Zoom. So it's just got the best storage. It's just so intuitive. It fits exactly what I need as a run and gun type video guy. Got all kinds of extra pockets for extra gear, what you need. Another pocket in here, which is pretty deep. Another pocket in here, that's where, like I said, I put the big lenses. And super handy as well, it's even got this side thing. So if you have a tablet or passport or, you know, any kind of flat item you need to store, 
it's perfect. So I'm loving this bag. It's been super tough, super durable. It's been the most best, the most best camera bag I've ever had. So that is, uh, that's it. So hope you enjoyed watching this video. That's the main gear I use. Uh, oh, I forgot the camera. I'll just mention the camera. It's a GH5 and for the audio I'm using a lens hopper. I'll show you, I'll put a link to my other video I've done about that camera before because it's my favorite camera. I'm waiting for the GH6 patiently. It's supposed to come out in 2020. Um, now it's supposed to come out at end of 2021. So fingers crossed that I can get that camera. So anyhow, like I said, it's not really about what you use. It's how you do it. But these are some of my favorite items. So again, please do use those Amazon links. It, it does me a small favor. Like I said, I will get a small commission and it doesn't cost you anything. And it's the best prices I've found for all these items. So thanks for watching. Bless up. I'm going to go shoot some pelicans, I guess.